Hello. Hi all. Thank you for watching my videos, subscribing my channel. Uh, today, I will uh, discuss on some practical aspects of engineering thermodynamics that what we have learned until now uh, is like you know, very theoretical uh, point of view like what is uh, zero -th law first law second law and so on and so forth and why actually where we practically use this the modernic principles uh, one that uh, sounds to me uh, maybe you know to all of us is the internal combustion engine the engines we see daily across uh, place uh, what we see is the uh, you know act the thermodynamics coming into action what i can say is the best example to uh, you know, make a note of what may be the very practical uh, implementation of thermodynamic principles so taking that as the you know topic for today what is that actually this ic engine is or what is that thermodynamic you know property or thermodynamic process that helps us to understand in a better way the engine and its working how we are able to burn fuel and obtain energy like mechanical energy we are able to drive from a place to another by spending fuel so all this will will help us remember this in this lecture we'll see how this is practically uh, you know useful in, uh, in a daily life so uh, we have something like in an engine uh, we call it as you know um, uh, which consumes fuel is uh, going to work in a cyclic process it's a cyclic uh, process working of an engine you know uh, it's a repetition of you know processes thermodynamic processes uh, one after the other in an order that is in a specified order the order of the uh, process will not change but it gets repeated over a period of time and that's how we have the very you know a word like thermodynamic cycle uh, so a cyclic process as we all know is the you know you know initial state and final state of thermodynamic system be the same if it is same then we call it as the thermodynamic system has undergone a cyclic process uh, so an engine which is uh, working maybe a bike that you see around you or a car or an automobile whatever uh, or a locomotive diesel locomotive on tracks and maybe for that uh, a gas turbine uh, driven uh, aircraft all these are you know practically making use of this very fundamental idea you know the modernic cycle so our study begins with study of uh, cycles you know uh, this is what I will uh, start uh, in today and uh, today's uh, class. This is about uh, the more dynamic the more dynamic cycles, right? I can name it like that. So, a thermodynamic cycle, uh, what types of cycles and 
what we generally I, I was mentioning an example like uh, the kind of engines that we see they are uh, actually uh, we don't directly go and study that kind of engine cycles what we start with is an ideal cycle ideal cycle then we move on and we improve and we study like air cycle air cycle next uh, stage is uh, kind of an air fuel cycle and finally we'll have something like you know real cycle or actual cycle also known as an actual actual cycles so this is the not like classification for this matter dear friends it's uh, kind of you know an improvement of or uh, stage by stage we start with this we have something like a, a ideal cycle we begin with with that then we have you know a working fluid what happens is there is no working fluid here no working fluid Isn't it? There is no working fluid uh, in ideal cycle. Here in uh, in uh, air cycle, the working fluid is the air. The working fluid is the air. As the very word gives you meaning. I mean, the connotation itself. You can make out that some air may be working fluid. Here, what we have is uh, both fuel and air, right? Both are working fluids, and we have, you know, other things as well. You know, air, fuel, and here air practically comprises many other, you know, constituent gases and we have fuel and other parameters of the parameters also no? this is how we study generally now we start with the kind of understanding the ideal cycle then we go to air cycle then air fuel cycle and real cycle we end up with real cycle so <coughs> This is uh, the beginning and we end with this real cycle. Here, the thing is, the thermodynamic uh, cycle once for all remains, you know, with that. Now, there will not be a change. For example, I have, uh, let's say, initially, I may have uh, kind of an auto cycle. Auto cycle. Uh, for example, if I choose auto cycle, it will be, you know, it can be studied as an ideal cycle, it uh, can be studied as an air cycle, air fuel cycle, and real cycle. As well. That's what I mean by it. now. So, in, uh, you know, in uh, essence, what I would like to share it to you is, Thermodynamic principles, when it comes into action, they work inherently, and we have a lot of things going around, and we do not know certain, you know, and you now internally what is happening, we do not understand. But actually, thermodynamics is working behind. So we come across uh, uh, with a with a devices with a uh, you know kind of uh, engineering 
systems make use of a lot of thermodynamic stuff and we we have to understand how they usually work and uh, in this particular you know topic we will see how thermodynamic cycles can be studied let's say we begin with an auto cycle there are many thermodynamic cycles and this is an auto cycle we have diesel cycle you know diesel cycle for that matter to mention it to you then we have a dual cycle dual cycle we also have a joule cycle or we also call it as Britham cycle uh, then, uh, of course, we begin with uh, one of the popular cycles, you know, Carnot. Carnot cycle. This, uh, this is not, a, you know, I'm not going to uh, go into that, but practically what automotive engines are, joule cycle. And non traditionally, we also have something like Stirling cycle. Uh, we we have Stirling cycle Atkinson cycle etc etc Lenoir they are also called Lenoir cycle okay so these cycles I will be taking uh, one cycle in uh, each uh, class and we'll be discussing how you know auto cycle uh i mean the, basically we study with the line with the concept of like ideal cycle no working flow we take as an ideal cycle that's what we generally study but here these cycles we consider air as as a working and we call it an air cycle so we i can consider all these cycles can be known as an air cycle So that's it, uh, guys, uh, for uh, this lecture. Uh, what uh, will be followed is where I will be discussing each cycle in each uh, video for you. Uh, and if you have any queries, you can write to me definitely. Please uh, follow uh, in my channel. Thank you very much.